the maths teachers welcome you back to the e-learning program today let us begin the new chapter chapter 4 fractions today's contents are fractions and types of fractions converting mixed fraction to an improper fraction converting improper fraction to a mixed fraction equivalent fractions and finding equivalent fractions fraction a fraction represents a part of a whole or any number of equal parts we represent a fraction as 1 by 3 here the circle is divided into three equal parts so each part is 1 by 3 where 1 is the numerator and 3 is the denominator types of fractions fractions can be categorized into the following types like fractions two or more fractions having the same denominator are called like fractions for example 4 by 7 1 by 7 2 by 7 and 5 by 7 unlike fractions two or more fractions having different denominators are called unlike fractions for example 2 by 3 1 by 4 3 by 5 and 4 by 9 proper fraction a fraction where The numerator is less than the denominator is called a proper fraction. For example, 3 by 5. Here, 3 is less than 5. Improper fraction. A fraction where the numerator is greater than the denominator is called an improper fraction. For example, 29 by 25. Here, 29 is greater than 25 unit fractions fractions with 1 as the numerator are called unit fractions for example 1 by 2 1 by 3 1 by 16 and 1 by 31 mixed fractions fractions that are a combination of a whole number and a proper fraction are called mixed fractions for example 3 2 by 5 here 3 is the whole number and 2 by 5 is the proper fraction converting a mixed fraction to an improper fraction a mixed fraction can be expressed as an improper fraction for example convert 2 4 by 5 into an improper fraction to express a mixed fraction as an improper fraction we follow these steps step 1 multiply the whole number part and the denominator of the mixed fraction that is 2 multiply with 5 is equal to 10 step 2 add the numerator to the product that is 10 plus 4 which is equal to 14 step 3 write the sum as the numerator and retain the denominator of the mixed fraction hence 2 4 by 5 can be written as 14 by 5 converting improper fraction to a mixed fraction For example, convert 11 by 8 into a mixed fraction. To express an improper fraction as a mixed fraction, we follow these steps. Step 1: Divide the numerator by the denominator. Step 2: Write the quotient as the whole number part of the mixed fraction. Step 3: the remainder is written as the numerator of the mixed number step 4 the divisor is written as the denominator of the mixed fraction hence 
eleven by eight can be written as one three by eight. Equivalent fractions. Let us observe the shaded portion in the following figures. We observe that the fractions for the shaded portions in the given figures are different, although they represent the same part of the whole. Therefore, two or more fractions that represent the same part of a whole are called equivalent fractions. Here, one by three, two by six, and three by nine are equivalent fractions. Finding equivalent fractions. We can find equivalent fractions of a given fraction in two ways. The first way, multiplying the numerator and denominator of the fraction by the same non-zero number. The second way, dividing the numerator and denominator of the fraction by the same non-zero number, which is a factor of both. Let us understand this with examples. Example one. Write four equivalent fractions of five by nine. We multiply both numerator and denominator by the same number. We get ten by eighteen, fifteen by twenty-seven, twenty by thirty-six, twenty-five by forty-five. Note: In order to get more than one equivalent fraction for a given fraction. We find the required multiples of the numerator and the denominator and arrange them as fractions. That is, first four multiples of numerator five are ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five. The first four multiples of nine are eighteen, twenty-seven, thirty-six, forty-five. Hence. The equivalent fractions are ten by eighteen, which is equal to fifteen by twenty-seven, which is equal to twenty by thirty-six, which is equal to twenty-five by forty-five. Example two: Write equivalent fraction of fifty by one fifty. Fifty and one fifty are multiples of ten. Therefore. We divide fifty and one fifty by ten. We get five by fifteen. Five and fifteen are multiples of five. Therefore, we divide five by fifteen by five. We get one by three. Therefore, equivalent fractions of fifty by one fifty are five by fifteen. Which is equal to one by three. Checking for equivalence. To check whether two given fractions are equivalent or not, we cross multiply the numerator of one fraction by the denominator of the other fraction. If the products are equal, the fractions are equivalent. For example, check whether. Four by nine and eight by eighteen are equivalent or not? Step one: We cross multiply four by nine and eight by eighteen. That is, we multiply the first numerator with the second denominator and the second numerator with the first denominator. We get nine multiply with eight as seventy-two. And four multiply with eighteen as seventy-two. The cross product are equal. Hence, four by nine and eight by eighteen are equivalent fractions. In today's video, we revised fractions and types of fractions, converting mixed fraction to an improper fraction, converting improper fraction to a mixed fraction. equivalent fractions and finding equivalent fractions children kindly practice math sums every day thank you
have a nice day